What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? How is everybody? What's going on? I'm like trying to get my bearings here. I'm, give me one second here. Try to post something real quick to let people know I'm going to be doing the live. And also, I am starting um, tonight. I'm going to start a hot sauce advent calendar. So I'm going to go live for a little bit every night for the next, like, what is it, 12 days or so. Um, try out hot sauce. Seeing what's in my advent calendar. So I'm just posting this real quick. So what's who's out there? Who's on? Who? What's everybody doing? Of course, my timing was all off. So I'm doing this in the middle of the open rather than doing this before I started. You know, because I'm good like that. There we go. Let's try that. And now we're done. Okay, I apologize. So I, <laughs> it's been one of those days. So launched a big project at work. I am tired. My brain is like not functioning fully. We're doing a cool little recipe today. I'm going to be making some rattlesnake bites. Uh, if you haven't had these, these uh, if you haven't had these, these are an appetizer. I knew you'd be here, J-Rock. That, that goes without saying. I knew you would be here. Uh, you were asking me, hey, when is this coming? What you know, you don't want to miss this one, but yeah, we're gonna be making some rattlesnake bites. Uh, I'm gonna make some dipping sauce to go with them. I'm gonna go ahead and break into let me show you guys the beginning of my hot sauce advent calendar. And so, every day, I'm gonna go live for a little bit. I think I'm probably gonna do the lives on Facebook because they're gonna be short and might be easier. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, so I'm gonna try that tonight. We're gonna go ahead and uh. What's going on? Jesse's all the way in California. And I might have to delay part of the advent calendar near the end because it looks like I will be in Dallas for Christmas. So flying out to see my brother in Dallas, um, leaving the 23rd, be there the 24th, 25th, coming back the 26th. So I, I don't know that I could bring hot sauce on the plane with me. You know how that goes. But anyway, so we're going to make some rattlesnake bites, some dipping sauce. We're going to dig into my advent calendar there and try some hot sauce day one of the advent calendar. We'll do some chit-chatting, look at foods that are going on, you know, the next few foods to come out, all that kind of cool little cheesy stuff that I like to do. And again, I just launched a major product project at work. So not all the um, gears are running all the way. I'm still very tired, very, very, very tired. So I've been um, getting a lot of rest, sleeping it off. And J-Rock, finally from our vacation, I am down the 10 pounds I put on on vacation. It took me this long, but I am down the 10 pounds that I ate down on the Gulf Coast, and partially because of Mr. Jesse's uh, gumbo there, because that was good. But anyways, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into these rattlesnake bites. They're really easy, not a lot to them. They're a simple app, and like I said, they're, I mean, if you've had them, you know how good they are. There's not a lot of ingredients. I have a lot of stuff you can't see over here on my counter because it's being blocked by my fryer here, but yeah, we got everything going on. So I'm just heating up my oil. You want like um, 350 degrees or so, but I don't need that right now. I just got this going. Yeah, I I have to when I when I pull that hot sauce out, I'll have to see how big the bottles are, because maybe then I you know. So we'll see because I'm not paying to stow or you know um, check a bag. It's just me and my son going for three days. <laughs> Oh my God, I know I could put that weight back on super easy down there. But yeah, it's just me and my son going for three days. So we're going to split a carry-on between the two of us. Because, I mean, if my wife went to the Gulf Co uh, to Dallas for three days, she'd be packing three or four suitcases. Me and my son could go in one carry-on. So anyways, we're going to jump into this. Let's go ahead and get this started. Because I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay, so let me, where's, you guys can't see the bowl very well. There we go. There you can see the bowl now. So to start this, this is an easy one. The basic ingredients are just some pepper jack cheese. And I thought I had a block of it that I was gonna shred, but I don't have a block, so I'm using some bagged, which is fine if I can open the bag. So we're gonna grab some pepper jack cheese. Boom, and you know what? I didn't take out my garbage. There we go. The reason I like the block better is the block cheese has a higher moisture and it's easier to manipulate, you know, and, and, and do stuff with, like smush up. But, so we're gonna take our pepper jack cheese, 
get a bunch of this in there. There we go. Lots of pepper jack cheese. And I'm saving some for my eggs too, so you guys don't get to use all the pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack cheese. Then, jalapenos, man. We're gonna dice up some jalapenos. Um, we are having a holiday party at work tomorrow, so I'm gonna bring these in. So I'm seeding these because I'm bringing them to work. If you guys like spicier, you don't need to seed them. Like I said, I'm seeding them because I am bringing them to work. So that way everybody at work can eat them. And I don't have to worry about if anybody is sensitive to heat. And while I do this, we could chit chat a little bit. If I can find my core more. Always completely prepared. Always have everything ready. Which I never do. So what's everybody's plans for Christmas? I'm going to be in Dallas, like I said. Where are you guys going? I wonder if, if Maddie is on. She's been, um, school is winding down. Anthony's almost done with his semester. Um, tomorrow's the last day of his classes at college, but then he's got a tournament, I think, in Kentucky. They're taking, you know, a wrestling tournament in Kentucky, so he's got to go down there. Um, so he'll be home, I think, the 20th, and then we fly out the 23rd to go to Dallas. So... And then he's got to go back the 28th because of wrestling practice because wrestling wrestles in January. So he doesn't get a lot of time to himself. So. Yeah, you said you were doing your first real ham. So. Oh, yeah. And then tonight, after I'm done with this, since we're having a holiday party tomorrow at work, I am making a fudge cake. I'll end up posting pictures of the fudge cake on my Facebook just so... Everybody knows. And I'm going to end up doing the hot sauce in the middle of this because I do need to throw these in the freezer for a couple of minutes. Look at Jesse, the traveling man right there. He's in California right now. I met him in... Uh... Sorry, I just inhaled some of the jalapeno. I met him in uh, out by Biloxi. And then he's going home to Louisiana. Get a lot of hot pepper in there. Like, the hot pepper, it just went straight down the back of the throat. I wasn't expecting it. So when I pop these in the freezer, I'm going to make the dipping sauce. After I make the dipping sauce, then I'll go ahead and... Um, grab my hot sauce. We'll dig into that. We'll go over, I'm going to waste a little time so they can chill a little bit because I do have to run them through like an egg wash and everything. So I do want them to chill a little bit so they don't fall apart in the egg wash. So we're going to have fun and waste a little bit of time, like I said, when those these are in the freezer. That's the fun thing about not having like a um, produced TV show where I could just say, now I'm going to throw these in the freezer and then pull another tray that's already been freezing out because obviously everything I make, we eat. These are going to be a treat for work tomorrow. Um, when you guys see me make the dinners or anything on my channel, we're eating that stuff. We're not like, you know, I'm not some big Food Network thing, though if Netflix or Food Network sees me and they really want me on, I'll be a big Food Network thing. But, you know, so I don't have that extra tray going. So that's why you never see me bake anything on the lives because that would be a lot of dead air, just me standing around waiting things for, uh, for things to bake. Maddie's almost done with her first semester of junior high. Uh, I'm trying to think what else do we have going on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't believe we're already mid-month in December. Tomorrow's the 15th already, right? Today's the 14th. Yeah, tomorrow's already mid-month. I have my mid-month reporting due at work. And I just got done, like I said, with a big project. And it's one of those, you always feel like things just never stop coming, man. Though, I am going out for barbecue this weekend. Going to South Moon Barbecue. What do I use? Okay, so I have a little, give me one second, I'll show you. Let me just get these diced and thrown in there. I have this little... Wustoff knife sharpener, if the camera's a focus on it. Can you see that? So, um, I was sent as a Christmas present 
a wust off. And so I was like, okay, I might as well go ahead and buy the sharpener. So that way I have something good to uh, take care of the knife with. So this is what I use. And I always have to tell my wife when I use it on one of our knives, because we have the two knives. These are the two main knives we use. And I always have to tell my wife when I use it, because if not, um, with, you know, a little nick and everything's, yeah, not in good shape. So, though we do have mostly a his and hers knife, I use both knives when I'm switching on the channel because I'll switch from meats to vegetables. You know, especially when I'm doing chickens and stuff, you'll see sometimes I'm holding the blue handled knife, sometimes I'm holding the black handled knife. And usually I make the switch when I'm using chicken, so that way I'm not using the same knife on raw chicken as I am, um, you know, any other food, stuff like that. So, but for the most part in the household cooking, you'll typically, well, you won't see because we don't film the household cooking, but my wife uses one, I use another. So, now, jalapeno, cheese. I'm just gonna get this mixed together. This is the interior, guys. This is the filling. The filling is jalapeno and cheese, that's it. There's not a lot to this one. So what we're gonna do is gonna take these. I wanna get a good, and that's why Block cheese is good because there's a lot of moisture in it and it's easy to smash down. Let's make this into a bowl. And there you go. Look at that. So I have nice little jalapeno and cheese ball. So let's go ahead and make these. We'll talk a little bit as I make some jalapeno and cheese balls. You can see though with the um, pre-shredded cheese, there's a little less moisture. So it takes a little more squeezing, squeezing and compressing. And that's also, like I said, why I'm gonna throw it in the freezer so they can freeze up and become firm because when I put them through that egg wash, I don't want them just to fall apart. There we go. You want maybe inch, inch and a half. So I'm trying to keep with that. It's just hard because I don't know exactly how far they're gonna compress down. So I'm just grabbing a bunch and, you know, We'll throw these in. Well, obviously when I'm done squeezing. Is that one there? That one's good. I'm trying to look at it, how it looks on the... I've got my laptop open with an extra monitor on it. My work monitor. I stuck my work monitor. My home, my work from home monitor is uh, what I'm using for my YouTube monitor so I can see what's going on over there. But... There we go. I will tell you though, uh, J-Rock, one of the things that I do, like, I didn't appreciate when I first started cooking or when me and my wife first moved in together and started setting up our home, you know, like our home, really setting it up, is I didn't appreciate a good knife. I really didn't. She bought those cutesy knives that you find at Walmart or whatever that like, you know, look nice and they have cute colors and you can color code your kitchen. And we had like, um, she had bought glass cutting boards because they looked nice. And man, I would not step back and go back to that at all. Okay, I'm making these kind of big, so I'm gonna try to make them a little bit smaller. But um, yeah, it's like good cutting board and a good knife. If you guys don't know, those make such a big difference. I mean, well, Jesse knows. I know Jesse knows a decent knife. You know, you use what you have, but a really good knife is like, a dream. There we go. They're not exactly round, so, but they'll work, right? You know who know? You know who know not? Who who know not? Who knows knives? Carl. Carl would be good for knives. He have you ever seen his grunk? The, the big blade he's got, man. That thing is huge. I like. I look at that and I'm like, I want to use that, but I would totally slice up my fingers and be in pain. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so we do, um, whenever I start to get resistance on, on anything, then I go ahead and sharpen it. I just let my wife know that, hey, these are freshly sharpened, so be careful. 
But yeah, as soon as we start getting resistance and have hard time cutting meats and stuff. I Okay, so plastic cutting boards though, they're going to hold that bacteria, man. Oh my god. I've got everything's wood. I love my wood cutting boards. Anyway, Boone, what's up? The newly married Boone. What's going on? Well, not newly married. You've been married a little bit now. I've seen you since you got married, but still. The, the Mr. Married Boone. What's going on, man? I'm assuming I'm going to see you on the 30th at AAW. Obviously, I will be there. So, uh, Nurse Nikki pointed out that I had an entourage at the door. And I had a lot of people buying me drinks at the last AAW show. And I had so many drinks coming in that I had to start handing them off to my friend who was with me. Because I don't drink that much. Like, I'm not a drinker. And I had rum and cokes coming like crazy. They were flying, man. So, not that I'm complaining. I don't mind when people buy them for me. But that was a lot more than my typical uh, evening of alcoholic. That one's kind of big. Let's go ahead. Make that one a little smaller. There we go. So Boone is one of the fans of AAW, the wrestling promotion I work for. Um, I work the front end. I work the door. I am kind of the face of things. The owners <laughs> aren't uh, people people. They like doing their work and like staying out of the limelight. So they go ahead and let me be in the limelight, which I don't mind. You know, not like I like to talk or anything, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm almost done here with making these. And then when we start doing other things, I'm going to pop these in the freezer, let them chill a little bit. They don't need to go long. I just need them stiffen up a little bit. There we go. That's what I got to do is I got to just start setting up the Tony Rican merch corner right by me. Start selling um, <laughs> rum chata and dark Dr. Pepper. Boone, are you doing this with me at the next AAW show? Rum chata and Dr. Pepper? Well, it's at Logan. I don't know if Logan will have Dr. Pepper. Oh, my God. Rum chata and Dr. Pepper. I don't want to waste this little jalapeno. There we go. If I made him a little bit smaller, I would have got a few more out of here. Eh, it's fine. It's whatever. So would have got 10, 11. Yeah, I could have got a good 15, 16 if I made him even. Okay, so there we go. That's done. There we go. Go ahead and eat some of that cheese. I'm going to go drop this in the freezer real quick. Give me one second. I'll be right back. freezer to close with a tray in it okay so with that in the freezer we're gonna do our dipping sauce that should be big enough. we're gonna do our dipping sauce then we're gonna break into my calendar and start messing with some hot sauce so strictly beers for you let's grab some where are my measuring cups take a half cup of mayonnaise And I've got like a little nick on my finger that I've got jalapeno in. That feels awesome. Just so you guys know. Amazing. So Boone, do you know how you gross Michelle out? Remember Michelle? The merch girl? You lick mayonnaise spoons. She hates mayonnaise, and I would do that just to mess with her. So mayonnaise uh, basically is egg and oil whipped. Um, so really, 
it's egg and oil. Um, you put a little seasoning in there, maybe a, a little Dijon. Um, what is this? Like here, seriously, there's just oil, eggs, water, a little vinegar, salt, lemon juice, mayonnaise. It's um, real mayonnaise tastes good. There's Miracle Whip, uh, which not as many people are a fan of. It's fake mayonnaise. But um, I also make mayonnaise. I make a homemade mayonnaise with bacon grease, with a little bit of bacon grease instead of oil. It Oh my God, it tastes good. I, it, it's, it's good. So I've got my mayonnaise. I'm going to take a little bit of ketchup, add that in there. Not with that spoon, I'm not putting ketchup in there. There we go. Some horseradish. Anything made with Sorry, new horseradish. I gotta get it open. There we go. Yeah, anything made with bacon tastes better. So let's add some horseradish in here. Okay. Then I have my garlic powder. We'll see you. We'll see you at the end of the month, Boone. You have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. So I have some um, garlic powder, some. What do I have? Cumin. I have my paprika, oregano, and then I add some salt and pepper. We're gonna add all that in there and just get this mixed together. It is. It adds some good kick to everything. So let's go ahead and add some garlic powder. Some paprika. We always, like for dipping sauces, put horseradish in there. So we're always having to buy new ones because we're always blowing through it. Um, let's see, what do I need? Cumin and oregano and then salt and pepper. Dipping sauce, super easy, nothing much to it. take my dipping sauce throw this in the fridge and then it's time to dig into the advent hot sauce calendar so let's switch the camera view here give me one second we're gonna go ahead and switch it to that view so I should have had tortilla chips I forgot to grab tortilla chips so I've got some tostada so I can try it on it because I don't want what I'm eating it with to overpower the flavor of the hot sauce. So let's grab a tostada, crack it up here. Okay. What is up? How are you? Okay, guys, so here we go. Hot sauce advent calendar. Let's open this up. Let's see what can we, okay, there we go. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay, there we go. I have, we're starting off strong. Habanero red sauce. That's my first hot sauce in my hot sauce calendar. Um, habanero red sauce. Yeah. Two fluid ounces, so I could get that on a plane, right? Ooh. Okay. 
They're starting me right off the bat with some heat here. They're not even like giving me a break. So let's go ahead. Open this up. There we go. Now, I'm hoping this has flavor, not just heat, because I do like hot sauces. I like hot stuff, but I also like flavor. I don't just want a bunch of heat. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's put a little bit. Oh, that's a lot of it. Okay, there we go. So we got some of that. And hang on. You can kind of see it there a little bit. I don't want it to drip off. So I can handle a habanero, yeah. We made habanero burgers, and my wife had some. This is actually pretty good. It's got some good kick. Um, it's not a kick you need to let build, but it's also got a decent flavor. Like, I'm not hating this flavor at all. No one second here. There we go. Mmm. So day one is a keeper. And J-Rock had said, well, I'm only doing, oh, wait, I got to <coughs> sneeze now. <coughs> okay, the kick came in later. Woo, now my eyes are watering. Oh, my God. Oh, that kick came in in the second half. Eyes are watering a little bit. That sneeze was good. Cleared me out. The first one they started, my wife just came home. They came out of the gates, babe. Habanero red hot sauce, right out of the gates. Oh, nice. They didn't even start me out little. They didn't even go, hey, we're gonna just go a little on you. We're going right off the gates with the big boys. So I'm wondering if we get hotter from here, man. Okay, I'm gonna start setting up for everything else here. Woo. Okay, I'm not watering anymore, that's good. Let me put my mayonnaise away and get this rolling. Okay, that was fun. And I'm gonna do that every night for 12 days. Got my 12 day of advent. So like I said, so day 12, right off the bat, it just kicked my butt. It was a good one. So, day 11, yeah. I wonder if it goes up from here or what they're doing. Okay, so let me get everything set up for the frying. Okay. Yeah, my oil's heated up all the way. So let's move that here. Okay, give me one second guys. I'm like sniffing, eyes watering as I'm getting set up here to uh, finish off on this one. You know what? Actually, I haven't gone over the foods we got coming out for the next couple of days. Perfect time to do it. Let those chill for another second in there and we'll go over and see what, look what's coming out. So tomorrow on Facebook for tomorrow's breakfast, peppermint mocha muffins. I brought these to work and they destroyed them. These things did not last. Oh my God, did everybody love them? That's tomorrow over on Facebook. Then Friday, back here on YouTube. Oh, wait, hang on, hit the wrong button. I apologize. <laughs> back here on YouTube is a gnocchi beef stew. Perfect little winter recipe. Uh, it's nice and chilly here. This is like, trust me, man, that beef stew and gnocchi together is so good it's such an awesome little comfort food this is perfect you guys will love this one and then monday here on youtube hot honey smashed potatoes it, we love potatoes in this house it's just that simple so anything potato is a hit here um it's a simple little side this goes perfectly with that hot honey biscuits i came out with a few days ago um yeah that beast too like it is killer so let's go ahead. We're going to jump over. Let's take a look at and start setting this up. I'm going to get three bowls here. Get a few bowls going. Let's 
So I didn't grab my flour, but let me grab my flour. See if I have enough room for all my bowls here. So bowl one, I'm gonna throw some flour into. Man, gnocchi is so good. Like, if you don't know, you need to be eating that. It is just so good. Okay. So we got that. Let me grab an egg, because I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little egg in the second bowl. Or did I grab an egg already? I already grabbed an egg. I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. So I'm gonna take an egg with some milk in the second bowl. Just enough, perfect. Let's get that mixed together. You know what we're gonna do too? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. Add a little bit of hot sauce into my egg and milk. Not a lot, just a little bit. Give it a little bit of flavor there. Because why not? I mean, that's where, you know, we're gonna have some fun with this. The rattlesnake bites. We have some jalapeno in there. Okay, and then last bowl, we're gonna take some breadcrumbs. I got a new thing of breadcrumbs. Hang on, I got to open this. Let's grab some breadcrumbs. Okay. Take a little bit of cayenne pepper. Where's my cayenne? There's my cayenne. Okay, let's add some cayenne in here. Come on. There we go. Okay. Some salt and pepper. A little paprika and garlic powder. Where is my paprika? And garlic powder and get that mixed together getting quite a little collection over here so breadcrumbs are finer than panko so hang on here I think I have panko let me show you here um, panko will end up uh, a crispier coating and breadcrumbs will end up like a finer coating so So that's panko. You can see it's much bigger. And um, then breadcrumbs is much finer. You can see it's a lot finer. So we don't want, like panko I'll use for frying chicken or something like that, uh, getting a nice crispy crust on it. And breadcrumbs I'll use for things like this, uh, where I want less to be about the crust. Okay, I got my messy counter over here, which I have to clean up because then, like I said, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to turn around and bake a fudge cake for work. Wait, what do I want? I want to get rid of, I want to move this flour, piece of flour. You guys don't need to see that as much. There we go. We're going to go ahead and grab our cheese. Throw the cheese, get them in that flour. Our egg and milk mixture. 
and hot sauce, and then get them tossed in those breadcrumbs. There we go. Then we'll end up frying these for a minute or so. You don't need them, you want it just to be nice and golden. You want the insides to be melty. So let me blow through these real quick and we'll drop them. There we go, get these nice and coated. Bring them over here, get them nice and coated. There we go. And again, this is why I threw them in the freezer first, so that way they actually stay together when I'm tossing them. I don't want them just to fall apart and there we go. We'll throw these in here. Okay, I'll drop these while I prep more. And like with anything you fry, great idea to hit them with some salt as soon as they come out of the fryer. Where's my towel? Uh oh. Oh, these are decorative. Oh, let me turn on the heat a little bit. They got a little extra color on it, that's fine. Let me go ahead, grab a plate, salt them. Boom, get these bad boys, there we go. I'm gonna make a few more before I dig in because I don't want to burn myself. But, and then we'll grab our, sorry, I'm salting them off to the side here. And we'll grab our dipping sauce. That's what, like, so my work loves that every week I bring in food. Well, I don't know if they love me or hate me that I bring in food all the time. But um, <laughs> I'm sure like my son wouldn't mind moving, getting away from this cold weather because we are honestly pretty cold right now. I'm sure J-Rock wouldn't mind having snacks like this all the time either. Okay. I do make a fair mess though. Typically a lot of cleaning going on after I'm done cooking. Okay, there you guys go. Okay, we'll drop these in. Boom, boom, there you go. And I can move these off to the side. I'm gonna have to do all the dishes because again, making that cake, I need all the dishes to be usable. Let me wipe off my hands. Where is my towel? Ah, oh, my towel's under everything over here, sorry. We'll grab this, clean up a little bit. Grab these. Grab my dipping sauce. Okay, there you go. These set is a little bit more golden. I didn't leave them in quite as long. Not that these are ruined or anything. It's just I was busy cooking. Ooh. Put some salt on these. Boom. Boom. Look at that. There you go. These look amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab one. I'm gonna grab one of these nice and hot ones. Put it in that dipping sauce. Look at that. Look at that. Switch over here. Wait, did I switch? No, I didn't. There we go. There we go. Mmm. These are freaking awesome, man. Mmm. 
Okay. You know what these are, don't you? That's right. These are awesome. Mmm. So, guys, I'll we'll probably do jump on Facebook and do a live tomorrow with day two of my hot sauce. Oh, wait, it's breaking apart on me. Thank you very much, Cam, for the, the subs, uh, subs, subbing. I hope you like the orange chicken. Mm. And the energy is because I have great guys like J-Rock and Jesse watch them, always interacting, having a good time, giving feedback. If you get a chance, look at my gumbo video with Mr. Jesse. I went down to the Gulf Coast. I was down in the Biloxi area. He cooked some uh, gumbo for us. It was amazing. Seriously, this is super simple recipe, guys. You saw what I did. I took some pepper jack cheese, some jalapeno, got that all mashed in a nice ball, put it in the freezer for a minute, threw in some uh, flour, a little egg, milk, some hot, I added some hot sauce at the last second just because why not, I had it there. Added in the hot sauce, and then went ahead, put in some panko, the panko had some garlic powder, some, um, when I have garlic powder, cayenne, a little bit of um, paprika, salt and pepper, tossed it together, drop it in the fryer, boom, simple. Dipping sauce with some ketchup, some mayonnaise, some horseradish, some um, paprika, garlic powder, cumin, salt, and pepper. Boom. That's all done. Quick, easy appetizer. Guys, football playoffs, Super Bowl's coming up. Oh, yeah. Gumbo. Like, I'm going to try at some point to make Mr. Jesse's gumbos after the new year. So he'll be getting messages from me so you guys will see a in-kitchen version of that too. But like I said, guys. It's football season. We're coming into the playoffs, you know. We've got Super Bowl coming up. Quick little appetizer. I mean, with me joking around, goofing around, uh, getting distracted by my hot sauce advent calendar and showing pictures of food coming up, it took 45 minutes to get this cranked out. Imagine if you're just doing this. And that was giving it time to chill in the freezer so that way they can harden up so that way you're not just biting into, uh, they're not just breaking apart. You can see, well, I guess I'll go to this camera. Look at that. It's got some great color. You can see the cheese all melty in there. I'm going to have one more before I sign off here. Mm. And we'll be back in two weeks, the 28th. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Man, this is good. I don't know what I'm making yet. Yeah, see, the ones that are a little bit bigger are a little stiffer in the middle. Uh, so th this nice, small, one-inch ones are, like, perfect. Sorry about that. Like always, big mouthful. Just shoving food in my face like crazy. But guys, I'll be back live on the 28th. Again, tomorrow on Facebook, I'm going to be making some... Uh, I've already made, but tomorrow on Facebook, the video drops from Peppermint Mocha Muffins. Then back here on YouTube on Friday, we have some of uh, that beef stew gnocchi, or gnocchi beef stew, which J-Rock is looking forward to. And I devoured, and my wife devoured. We just killed that. And then on Monday, I already forgot what I was doing Monday. Oh, is the uh, hot honey smashed potatoes, man. So, guys, I'm out of here. Like I said, I'm going to clean my kitchen. I'm going to finish eating these and gain that 10 pounds back that I just lost. And then i got to make a fudge cake for work. Well, I don't have to. It's our Christmas party at work tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down and make a fudge cake to bring in for the Christmas party. Uh, so i got a big night of cooking ahead of me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking it out. Remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, go ahead and like my Facebook. Just make sure you're around for all this stuff. I, a lot of fun stuff. Every two weeks, I'll be here live. So the 28th is next live. I'll figure out what I'm making. I know J-Rock is hounding me to make some cool mac and cheeses. So I might have to get on the mac and cheese and see what we could do. But um, other than that, guys, I'm out of here for tonight. Everybody have a great Wednesday night. I'm going to clean up, bake some cakes. I'll probably post some pictures of the cake over on Facebook, depending on what time I'm actually finished with it. So, you too, J-Rock. You have a Merry Christmas. Mr. Jesse, have a Merry Christmas. Cam, have a Merry Christmas. And we'll see everybody back here the 28th. We'll make something fun and cool. Maybe J-Rock will win out and make, we'll make some mac and cheese. Sorry, I'm burping. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. Everybody have a good night. Have fun with your family. Stay warm if you're in a chilly area like I am. I know some of you guys are in the south so it's not as cold but anyways we'll talk to everybody later and pastelillos oh my god yes oh i do need to make those don't i 
I was I was telling him that I need to make J Rock some Reina de Papa because if he likes these fried cheese balls, man, you would love Reina de Papa. And I, I told J Rock he's got a Puerto Rican neighbor that if he just checks out some of the Puerto Rican stuff and I do some of these, he can throw down for his Puerto Rican neighbor and just surprise him. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here for the night. We will talk to everybody later. And oh, just so you guys know, I am doing, speaking of the Puerto Rican food, I am doing an Instapop Pollo Guisado. So I will be doing that soon. Um, that one will be for YouTube, not a live, but I am doing an Instapop Pollo Guisado because I'm trying to um, revamp and modernize some of my recipes out of the cookbook just so that way it's not all, like nothing wrong with old school. That's the way my dad taught me. But you know, sometimes you want something a little bit newer, a little bit more modern. But anyways, I just keep talking. I don't shut up. So <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go. Everybody have a good night. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. And you guys got to try this one. Like I said, these rattlesnake bites, especially with this dipping sauce, 